Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 franchise with the New York Mets. This is episode 9 and here we are for this April 26th game. Uh, we're going to be playing against the 14-12 uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, they got Brandon Woodruff on the mound. We got Dallas Keuchel uh, pitching for us. He's currently 3-0 so we're going to try to keep his winning ways and hopefully, uh, you know, break some... Get a little closer with the uh, the gap here between the Nationals and I. We're in a game and a half back, so we're going to try to get a little closer um, in the NL East race. I know it's so early in the season, but I want to get into first place as much as I can so I can kind of relax later in the season. Um, but without further ado, I'll see you guys in City Field. Down the first baseline. Uh, that's a good stop by Peter Alonso, though, and he's still out. Good play by Peter Alonso, stopping the ball, having enough uh, instinct, getting out of the first base. That is a shot by Peter Alonso. This could be a home run. And it is, it's out of here. That is a solo shot by Pete Alonso. That's his fifth of the year. I was out of here in a hurry. A solo shot the here Mets are up oh, early in the game, one to nothing. They just hung in there. Uh, they would jump all over it. And that's a home run for Pete Alonso. Let's take a look at a replay here. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game. Went underneath he does the just ball. That. Just enough no to make a home run. Pete Alonso showing his power early in the season no with doubles. He's been a hitting machine right for the Mets. The get the barrel to it and he's having a real strong beginning this season hit sharply on the ground and that finds its way through for a base hit and, and that the hits go by no the Brewers here in a second inning down. no outs Keiko slider is well, not the, working right now so with that hole we can't figure that out somehow base, First baseman has to hold that runner on that leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too Play much. Play ball. Out second. Out of first. It's a big double play early in the game for Keiko and Mets. As Cano to McNeil to Alonzo. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner. We're entering play here tonight. They came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. We want to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. Eight RBIs. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely Full count hitting, Ramos. great defense, right, to good bullpen. The, the starters have been on point. Percentage. This is going to be special. Swung on and hit pretty well. That's a shot to left field, field. over the head. So the he's a little slow, so he's going to have to be held up at first. That is a heck of a hit by Wilson Ramos. Oh, there's a shot, a no doubt, a bat flip from Brockton, and that is a two-run home run for Keon Brockton. Driving it to the left field, again with a little bat flip, and the Mets crowd is going crazy here in City Field, and he hits home base with Wilson Ramos. 3-0 here in the second inning. Take a look at our replay here. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. No doubter. He's already given up that two was here. crushed. So he's, got his today. he's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Mustakis. In too fast, too safe. And they won't have a play That's an as infield he hit by Jeff McNeil, the hit machine it's for the like Mets right now. Looks like they're going to do it. Is it worth it for the mound? He's been his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Swing that is a solo, or the, another home run by Alonzo. That's a two-run shot by Pete Alonzo. That's the second home run of the game. There's five nothing Mets here in the second inning, jumping all over that ball. Wow, that was out of here. That was a laser shot into left field stands. Replay. 
pretty easy to tell in real time. Boom. But that one was an absolute missile out, out of here the in a hurry. No exit velocity 140 miles an hour. Miles an hour right into the, the crowd. Velocity and impressive over 85 percent in this game, meaning that when they swing the bat, they're that's a shot by your one. It's going deep left the field. That's off the wall. The very best teams in baseball usually are Why is it deep left field? That's deep right field. That is a double. Are you on a suspect? This is third of the year. And the, oh, bet, right. and the Thanks, bats Eddie. continue to stay hot for the Mets. Like this make every hitting coach happy. 3 2 pitch. Sent on the ground. Yeah, forcing the, the run. It's going to be a double play, though. It's going to be 6 0 Mets. So they get the double play. But the double play. So empty things higher bases up. It like gets a little higher. After a handful of foul balls, one, two to Grandal. Grounded to third. Ball out at second. Oh my gosh, bad throw. And he'll make it up the next three, two. He's gonna be double to the ball. He's gonna give it up. Gonna give a run, but it's a big double play. Six to one. Here in the fourth inning. So base is empty now for Christian Yelich. He pulls this wow, one into Christian right, Yelich. and that'll get down for Showing a base his hit. power by putting the jam ball in there. Still for and base hit to right go field. No further than second, back to back hits from Brewers. Now. One out. Line toward right center. It's three straight base the hits by the Brewers. Just gonna drive in a run. Yelich advances to third. And they're not oh my get him gosh, bad throw. So Everybody advances. So it's six to two Mets. On third, Aguilar at second with one away. That's lifted the other way out. Turns out in the run. Is there. Run can get him right out of it. Here comes the runner from third. Safe, so and six three. On the sacrifice fly. And the walk is knocking at the door. Here's get that out of here. Cespedes with another extra base hit, this being a bomb to left field. That is another home run for the Mets today. That's the third, fourth home of the game. This time by Cespedes, a solo shot. Thank you, 73 Mets here in the fifth inning. That just hung up there. Oh my gosh. The apple's up once again. Joannis looks like maybe he's breaking his slump. A, long ball is a double today as well as a freaking bomb. The game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on the one. evening? 0 for 2 so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Yeah. Down by a boatload. That's a strikeout for Keiko. I believe this is fourth strikeout of the game. Going, and the last thing you want to do he is fall behind. Decent. We have Here in the sixth. Full count. Christian Yelich, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Swing a miss with a changeup. That's a big strikeout for Diaz and the there. Mets, and it's first out here in the ninth now inning. With a man on second. And now a that is a slider a to freeze Yelich. She did not now. see that. Now after back -to -back out number two, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Diaz. Driving him in, or at least getting him in. Swing Three straight strikeouts for Diaz. He's unshakable. Minus that double. The Mets win 7 4 here in City Field. Heard the game past with Pete Alonso. He came in there and just destroyed the ball. Two home runs, three RBIs, two more four. He has been an amazing, amazing first baseman for the Mets. He just stinks for Dominic Smith, who's still who I sent to the minors. But um, we had Diaz with a save, Keiko with his fourth win, uh, with an ERA of 3.33. And the next game we're gonna play is hmm, probably this second game uh, against Cincinnati. Today. I'm, not, I'm trying to remember if I had Matt's play in my season like last video. Oh, I think I did against Waka. Yeah, I think that was like two episodes ago, maybe three episodes ago. But anyway, I'll figure that out. We'll sim, we'll sim, game, sim, sim some games here. Uh, you can't seem to speak. So we'll sim this game with Noah. And now nah, they don't have four valid lineups. Ugh, hold on. We're gonna have Jacob DeGrom versus Julius Chachin. Gonna send this. And we lose.
five to three. Advance next day. Oh my gosh, all these annoying things from AAA. Hold on. And next game we have Novo going against Freddy Peralta. Let's see in this game, and we win nine to two. Let's take a look at the box score for this game. And excuse me, we had Alonso with a triple. Conforto with a triple as well. Cespedes and Larry with a home run. And a handful of runs driven in the seventh uh, in the seventh inning. And Sinigar gets his fourth win with six strikeouts, eight hits, one earned run. Sewell came in for to finish the game. And we're gonna have it's gonna be Wheeler or Matt's I'm gonna play. I haven't decided yet. Um, hmm. Let's see. All I remember it was Matt. The game before we lost in St. Louis, and then we had Syndergaard against Arietta and Keiko just pitched. So we are going to be playing this game against Cincinnati here. It's going to be Sonny Gray versus Zach Wheeler. We looking for his third win. Sonny Gray looking for his fourth. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB the show ninth. And will be the show 19 New York Mets franchise. If you like what you saw, click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. Um, I'm trying to get at least four to five likes for this video. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and.